Six kilograms of butter. <laughs> A lot of sugar. Six kilograms of sugar. Start creaming the mixture. So like you would a normal cake, you're just looking for both ingredients to fully combine together. It's all beautifully creamed together. It took about, you know, two hours, <laughs> six minutes. And then we're adding in eggs. 120 eggs, to be precise. <laughs> Orange juice. For adding flour, <laughs> six kilograms of the stuff. So it's pretty much like an all-in-one mix. 25 kilograms of ingredients going on in here. Is it a cake? Is it a biscuit? Right now it looks like a cake. So the next stage of creating said giant Jaffa cake is transferring that heap of mixture into six tins. That needs to go in the oven. Got to start filling these ones ready to go in the oven. The next important part of a Jaffa cake is the jelly in the middle. We have used three litres of marmalade and nine litres of jelly giant size oven gloves for a giant size Jaffa cake. So, yeah, it's been in there for about an hour. So as you can see, the Jaffa cake is out of the oven, cut it down to size, and I'm just, as you would do, leveling out the sponge to make sure when we pour the chocolate on, it's got a nice even layer and surface. I'm just painting the sponge with some orange jam, which I've just heated up. And this is acting a bit like glue, just ensuring that all the sponge sections are attached together and it'll also add as a really nice flavour. Now we're transferring the jelly onto the sponge. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of jelly going on here. <laughs> it's like a massive Jaffa jellyfish. So 20 kilograms of melted chocolate is now about to be applied to a 120 centimetre giant Jaffa cake. Go guys. Ooh, the chocolate pool. Willy Wonka had nothing on us. Yeah, you could. It's a, hopefully a world record. Certainly a record for clearing this lot up. 